We are at Six Flags America and we have a really special guest with us today. He spent 197 days on the International Space Station. He's done five spacewalks, but before he became an astronaut, he had an even scarier job. He was a middle school teacher. Whoa. <laughs> Please welcome NASA astronaut Ricky, Ricky Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Ricky. Great to be here. Hi, everyone. Awesome. Well, Ricky, you want to tell these guys a little bit about your, your latest mission to the International Space Station? Sure. I've got a few minutes. Um, actually, I grew up not too far from here. Graduated from Bowie High School right down the road. Uh, I've been to the International Space Station twice, once on Space Shuttle Discovery to help build the ISS. And last year, uh, I flew on a Russian Soyuz to go and live and work on the space station. Any given day, we had 300 different science experiments we were working on. We did three spacewalks. We had several cargo vehicles come and arrive, carrying thousands of pounds of science materials and supplies, things like food and clothing that we need uh, to, to keep people alive and working on the International Space Station. And really exciting to me, being a teacher, uh, is that we completed the year of education on station. We did downlinks with schools all across the United States. We did demonstrations. We have done some lessons in conjunction with the Challenger Center. And all of that stuff is available for you to watch on the, uh, on the internet. So it's great to be here with you today. It's great to be back on Earth. And um, look forward to a fun, fun afternoon with you. All right, so we're going to be taking some questions later, and I will say, if you get an opportunity, check out this demonstrations. They are truly out of this world. Ricky, you flew on Discovery and on the Soyuz. Do you want to tell us a little bit about those rides? They're both fun. The great roller coasters here, and, uh, but it's the ultimate roller coaster ride. The space shuttle flew, left Earth from Florida, and the orbital mechanics are the same. You're going to start on the ground, sitting with your back against the back of the space shuttle or back in your seat, like on the Soyuz as well, and you go from sitting still to within eight and a half minutes flying over 17,500 miles an hour, a couple hundred miles over the Earth's surface. That's fast enough that you are going around the world every 90 minutes. And it's fast enough that there, while you guys have one orbital day, 24 hours, one sunrise, one sunset, we have 16. The rides were very similar, but the space shuttle was designed for carrying a lot of stuff to space. So it was a big rumble, constant acceleration. The Soyuz was a bit more like a sports car, a little bit smoother, still just as fast. So you guys can actually go out to the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia, and see space shuttle discovery that Ricky flew on. And one of the keys for bringing the astronauts back safely from space are the thermal protection tiles. That's right. Ricky, can you tell us a little bit about these? Well, I can. We're, we're going 17,500 miles an hour, and we got to be standing still by the time we return to Earth. And the way we get rid of all that kinetic energy, which is energy of motion, we turn it into heat by generating friction coming through the Earth's atmosphere. And we have these special tiles that are actually able to absorb that heat because we'll heat up to several thousand degrees on the outside of our vehicle. A Soyuz and a space shuttle are literally fireballs coming back to Earth. And we need to get materials that can get rid of that heat. And this material on the space shuttle, it can heat up to a couple thousand degrees and still be cool enough to touch because of the way it's able to handle heat. Now you all, Marty has got a blowtorch. Yes. And we have one of the shuttle tiles. Uh, can you all see what's happening to that tile? See how it's turning bright orange where the, the blowtorch is? Imagine that all across the tile and all across the bottom of the space shuttle. So what was it like coming back in the shuttle with these tiles? Shuttle was really smooth. You could hear the friction outside the vehicle, and you can certainly see the flames coming around the vehicle. But it was fairly smooth. You landed on a runway in Florida. The Soyuz um, tended to shed material. It had a blade of material which absorbs the heat and then burns off. So when you're coming back in this fireball, and we were looking out the window, and it, we were inside of a flame just like this blowtorch, and you could see material uh, fly, flying away, taking the heat with us. It's a wild ride. And I want you to think about when you're at home and you're you know, cooking supper and you've got a, a skillet on the stove, can you touch it like right after it gets super hot? No, but this here in just a couple of seconds, we're gonna be able to touch it. It does an incredible job. That's pretty neat. If Marty had a tile big enough to cover his hand, he could put his hand behind that 
and put the blowtorch up to it. If you like this video, be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.